In the given figure, four line segments 1, 2, 3, 4 are RA, SB, TC and UD respectively. The lengths of the line are 39 meters, 25 meters, 27 meters and 49 meters respectively. Six people Mohan, Sohan, Rohan, Ankit, Vineet and Sumit are standing in line 1 that is RA. All of them are facing the north with the distance between them increasing in multiples of 7 from the left end. That is if Mohan is at the left end of the line at point R, then the remaining people will stand at a distance as follows 7 meters, 14 meters, 21 meters etc. from the end. So what is given here? There are 4 lines RA, SB, TC and UD. So here first we are going to talk about the line RA. So I have a line RA. I am just writing down the information as I read it. And what is given? I have 6 people standing in this line. Who are the 6 people? Mohan, Sohan, Rohan, Ankit, Vineet and Sumit. And so if this is the line, now the people are starting to stand from the, so if this is the line, the people are starting to stand from the left end. Correct? That is the point R. So anyway all the people are facing north so this is said to be the left end of the line and this is the right end of the line and the people are starting to stand from this end okay so there is one person here second person and the distance between each of them is seven so how many people are there in total one two three four five six so so this is how they are standing the first person is at this point r Okay, see that is what they are saying. Uh, Mohan is at the left end of the line at the point R, then the remaining people will stand at a distance of 7, 7. So, distance from the left end will be consecutive multiples of 7, 7, 14, 21 and so on. Now, what is the total length of this line? Total length of this line is 39. So, out of 39, when I place the 6 people, okay, what is this remaining length that I have? See, this is 7, 5 are 35. So, this will be, this distance will be 4 meters that is the remaining length that is 4 meters now what is given about their arrangement see what is said Mohan is standing at the left end of the line so which is the left end of the line they have said R is the left end right so Mohan is standing here Mohan is standing at the left end of the line all of them are facing north now two persons are standing between Mohan and Sohan so this is Sohan Rohan stands second to the left of Sohan so this is Rohan. Rohan stands second to the left of Sohan. Everybody is facing upwards. So this is their left and this is their right. Sumit is an immediate neighbor of Rohan. So this has to be Sumit is an immediate neighbor of Rohan. Only one person stands between Sumit and Ankit. So if this is Sumit, this has to be Ankit and in that case, this has to be Vinit. So this is your arrangement for line 1. Next. Now what are they saying? Now we are going to consider line 4 UD. What is the length of the line UD? The length of the line UD is 49 meters. So I am going to consider the line UD. Now in this line I have 6 people Anita, Ambika, Amrita, Anchal, Arpita and Ajita standing in line 4 UD. All of them are facing the south and the distance between them increasing in multiples of 9 from the end that is if the first person is at the right end of the line at point u see read this information clearly they are saying that the first person is at the right end of the line at point u so for this line the right end is considered as this point u okay so the first person is here means where is the second person the second person will be 9 meters away like that consecutive 9 9 meters i am placing the 6 persons. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 persons are placed like this and the total length of the line is 49 meters. So, 9 5s are 45. So, again remaining I have 4 meters in this line and it is given all of them are facing south. Okay. Now, Amrita is standing at the third position from the right end. See here in the question they have very clearly given that the right end here for this line means U. So Amrita is third from the right end means where will Amrita be? This has to be Amrita. Amrita is standing at third position from the right end. Arpita is the neighbor of Amrita and two people are standing between Arpita 
and Ajita. So, this can be Arpita. So, if this is Arpita, which will be Ajita, this will be Ajita. Then they are saying that uh, more than three persons stands between Ajita and Anita. So, where will Anita be? More than three people. That is, at least four people has to be there between Ajita and Anita. So, if this is the case, it is not possible, right? Even if I place Anita here, I have only three people between Ajita and Anita. So, this is not the case that we are looking at. So, Arpita has to be here. And if Arpita is here, then this will be Ajita. Now, if this is Ajita, which can be Anita? One, two, three, four. This can be Anita. Next. Anchal stands to the immediate left of Ajita. Anchal stands to the immediate left of Ajita. See, everybody is facing downwards. So, this is their right and this is their left. Now, Anchal is to the immediate left of Ajita means Anchal will be here. And Ambika and Arpita are immediate neighbors. So, Arpita is here. So, this has to be Ambika. So, this is the information that is given about the line 4. So, now you have arranged these. And then it is said that uh, point S and point T is the left end of the row in line SB and line TC. Okay. So, point S is the left end of the row in line SB and point T is the left end of the row in line TC. Okay. Now, let us read the uh, questions that follow. So, what is given here? In the line 4 UD, what is the distance between Arpita and point D? So, what is the distance between Arpita and point D? What is this distance? 9 plus 9 plus 4, right? 18 plus 4, that is 22 meters. Option C is your answer. If in line 1, RA, if people stand in distance of multiples of 9 in the same order and the rest of them move to line 2 SB and stand from the left end in the same order and if in line 4 UD if people stand in distance at multiples of 11 in the same order and the rest of them move to line 3 TC and stand from the left end in the same order then total together how many people are standing in lines 2 and 3. So what are they saying if in line 1 RA okay so I am just going to use another color ink here. So, in line 1 RA, the students are going to stand now in distances which are multiples of 9. Okay. So, this total length of the line is only 39 meters. So, if I start from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have 6 people. Now, the distance between each of them is said to be 9. Right. So, uh, 9 fours are 36. So, this line length itself is only 39, correct? So, how many people will I be able to place if they are standing like this, if they are standing from the left end of the row uh, with distance between them, each of them is 9. In that case, how many people can stand in this RA? Only 4 people can stand, right? Because 9 fours are 36 plus here you have only 3, correct? Because the length of this line is 39 meter. So, here I have only 3. So, the last person here, whoever is the last person has to go to the next row or the second row. What is the row that that person is going to? SB. Okay. So, this last person is coming to SB. Okay. So, out of the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 persons, 5 persons are kept here. That is Mohan. So, Mohan, Rohan, Sumit, Sohan and Ankit are kept here. So, Vineet is coming to the next line SB. Now, similarly, what are we doing? We are considering the row UD. So, in the row UD, what we are doing is we are making the people stand at a distance of multiples of 11. So, what is the length of this uh, line? It is 49 meters. So, if they stand at multiples of 11, how many people can again stand? So, 3, 44, correct? Here you will have 5 meters. So, this is UD. Now, so this is 49 now. So, how many people are standing here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, the one person, right? He will have to move to the next row that is TC and he will go to the left end. Left end of TC is T, correct? So, he is coming here. Sorry, here the direction they are all facing downwards, 
but that doesn't matter here. See, they are just asking us how many, mm, okay, let me just redraw it. They are all facing downwards, right? Okay. So, one person is going to the next row, that is TC, okay? So, who is that person? Anita. Anita will go here. Everybody else will be on UD itself. So, what is the question here? See, you don't have to find out in which direction they are standing or uh, who is the person who is coming. Only thing that they are asking is, totally how many people are standing in lines 2 and 3 now? So, in line 2, if you see, that is SB, one person is standing. In line 3, that is TC, one person is standing. So, totally how many people have to change their position? Two persons. So, two persons are there in line 2 and 3 put together. So, what is your answer? Option B, 2. Next one. If in line 4, UD, if people stand in multiples of 13 in the same line, same order and the rest of them move to line 3 TC and stands from the left end in the same order, then the distance between Anita and points C is dash. So, now what is the length of line UD? Length of line UD is 49 meters, right? So, here now people are starting to stand in multiples of 13. 13. So, this is 13 plus 13 plus 13, 39 and this length is only 10. So, only uh, 4 people can stand in this line UD. Now, the remaining people have to move to line TC. So, how many people are remaining? 2 people are remaining. Again, multiples of 13, they will be standing like this. Now, what is the distance between Anita and point C? See, where is Anita? Anita is the last person in the row. Correct? Anita is the last person. So, obviously, Anita is here. Okay? So, uh, what is the distance of Anita from C? This is the distance of Anita from C. Now, what is the length of this line TC? The length of this line TC is 27. So, what is the length of Anita from TC? It is nothing but 14 meters. Option C is your answer. Now, suppose line 1 RA is joined to line 2 SB to form a new straight line RB in such a way that the distance between point A and S is 5 meters. If the people in line 1 RA are made to stand in multiples of 12, then how far is Sohan from point B? So, this is a very, very easy question. So, I have a line RA. Okay, I am joining this RA to SB. Now, the distance between A and S is given as 5 meters. Now, I have got a new big line, okay, RB. What is the length of RB? See, I know RA is nothing but 39. This is 5 and I know SB is 25. So, now I have a line RB which is 39 plus 5 plus 25 or that is nothing but 69 meters long. So, I have a line RB which is 69 meters long and in this line RB what am I doing? I am making the people of line RA standing in multiples of 12. So, the first person, okay, direction again does not matter here. Uh, anyway, it was given that they were facing north, so I am just putting them facing north, but that is not required. So, first person is here, second person, okay, distance between each of them is 12, 3, 4, 5, 6, right. So, here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 12, 5 are 60, 60 plus 9, totally 69 meters. Now, what is the question? How far is Sohan from point B? Now, who are the people who are standing in RA? We have already got that, right? You have Mohan, Rohan, Sohan, Ankit and Vinit. So, if this is Sohan, what is the distance of Sohan from B? It is nothing but 12 plus 12 plus 9. That is nothing but 33 meters. So, option D is your answer. Again, Next one, if in line 1 RA, people stand in distance at multiples of 9 in the same order and the rest of them move to line 2 SB in the same order, then who will be standing in line 2? See, we have already written this, right? People in line uh, RA, we have written them in multiples of 9. So, who is the person who has to move to the next line? It has to be Vineet. Vineet moves to the next line. Everybody else is able to stand in the same line. So, what will be your answer here? So, who will move to line 2? Vineet will move, but Vineet is not there in the option. So, your answer option will be option 5, none of these. 